So, um, uh, hey everyone, it's Mario Studios 1990 here, and um, I think it's time to tell you something about what I've had growing up with all my life. Uh, you know, in my description about what I'm about, so um, I've been telling you that, and the thing I have growing up with all my life is uh, autism. And for any of you guys, viewers don't know what autism is, especially you, Superstar Chase, for, you know, making you lose control even though you didn't know I have autism, so, um... <clears throat> Autism Spectrum Disorder, or shortly known as autism, is a neurobiological disorder which happens, well, it's actually an intellectual disability considered as one because, you know, um, it has some problems like, you know, it usually affects communication and interactions, actually. So, um, this condition ha exists on a type of spectrum. You see, um, here's how it works. Like, there are three levels of it. Level 1 being the mildest, while level 3 being the most severe. So, um, as for a teenager, my autism is pretty mild at best. Um, but I still have some traits of this disorder that, you know, uh, that could be explaining you more about. <clears throat> so, um, the spectrum works like this, you know, if you're on the, the low side, this is the low side here where I'm pointing at. The low side is also known as the LFA, low functioning autism, which we're also called as autistic disorder. The middle is the level 2 autism, and the high side is the level 1 autism, or HFA, which stands for High Functioning Autism, but which is also called as Asperger's Syndrome. Since this is the side I was on, my parents have been telling me that that's the one I have, Asperger's Syndrome. Since, um, yeah, something like that, and, uh, I also have, I still have problems with some people, actually, like, I sometimes can't understand people's facial expressions, um. I also sometimes can't understand gestures, like, so I look up in other countries, like, you know, something like that, and, uh, you know, so the, like that, you know, um, but as for that, um, here's how it works, like, um, here's how it all started, like, you know, for instance, when I was, um, very young, uh, a dentist said I had autism, that's how I got autism when I was young, well, it all started when I was at the age of four, when a dentist said I had autism, that's when they had to go see, uh, a specialist just to take care of to see if they have autism or not after when the specialist told me what I told my parents what autism is and I had a well to know if I had autism I had repetitive behavior that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much it well not clearly guys it's not now um here's how it went like you see autism also will be lifelong I'll always have it for the rest of my life you know the rest of my life. Sorry, that guy is about my pants. I'll always have it for the rest of my life, you know. So, um, but, however, I did have problems, like, I'm still, I'm taking treatments on autism for my Asperger's syndrome I'm having, or something like that. I am still taking treatments on that disorder, which, um, um, I'm taking applied behavioral analysis, physical therapy, and speech therapy. Those are treatments for autism. Well, if, it depends on the severity, like, if you have level 1 autism, you get a little bit of treatment, actually. But if you have level 2 or level 3 autism, you have to take a lot of treatment. So, level 3 autism is when you have problems. Like, you know, you don't talk, you're claustrophobic. Um, you also have a lower IQ and um, more prone to getting gastrointestinal problems, sleep disorders, and epilepsy. Level 2 is where it's on the mid-side. You have a much higher IQ, but a little lower IQ than the level 1 autism. You're still kind of claustrophobic. You only, you don't talk that much. You only talk a little bit. And uh, you are prone to getting gastrointestinal problems and sleep disorders. But if you have a level 1 autism, you can you talk. You have trouble making eye contact with people. Um, you also have average to high intelligence and, uh, but you're only prone to getting gastrointestinal problems, but since I have the level 1 autism, or as I like to call it as Asperger's Syndrome, yeah, so, um, I do have repetitive behavior, actually, like, you know, I flap my arms, rock backward and forward, so like that, it's just to help me relax, that's pretty much what it, why I have autism, actually, guys. The reason why I never told what most of you guys about it because, well, I do want to tell about it, but I just never knew the right time to tell you about it, guys. So, sorry. 
But now that I'm telling you about it, I hope you guys will understand that I do have some challenges throughout my life. Though, however, since, but I also have, but with me having Asperger's syndrome, I do have a restricted range of interests, actually. With a, and he thought, what do you mean restricted range of interests? Which means I have very low, well, I have interests with many things like, you know, from those, um, one of the videos I made, like, I have a higher interest in making YouTube videos. Like, you've been watching my videos for the rest of my life, so, um, well, not clearly. It's been a year already since I started my channel. I'm not doing very well because of you guys. I feel like I'm coming having, like, negligence, but I just figured out that you guys probably just might have been busy with other things, but, but you should support my channel because I need 1,000 subs to get monetized, and then I can do the drama of my life. Okay, guys? So, um, with the... Back with the interest, guys. So, um, the reason why I have a high interest is, um, you know, I've been wanting, to, I've been making videos with mostly plushies, Mario, gaming, something like that. But I'm not making Paw Patrol videos. But I also do have a high interest in trains, actually, with Thomas ones, like Bowser Jr. does. <laughs> now, with me, education, well, educating is pretty hard for me, challenging. So, um, Schools will have to find out, you know, what do I like, and then I can just look forward on that, you know. I'm more of a biology expert for that reason, of, you know, I know a lot of, of biology, actually. If you, know what bio, if you don't know what biology is, which, that meant how the human body works. And the organs, too. And something like that. Though, however, I have a friend named Sonic Rob. If you know him, I'll send you a link to his channel. He has autism too, actually. We both go to a regular school, but for him, uh, he's, um, well, for him, he has to take a special class, actually. Well, um, for me, I ha I go to a regular school, but I'm more of a, in the, but I've been doing, but doing with, you know, not having a classroom assistant, I've been doing my work life independently, actually, my working independent. Uh, something like that, you know. So, um, well, um, I am able to talk to some people, but I tend to avoid eye contact because, uh, I'm afraid of looking at their eyes or something like that. I don't know. We don't know why was, you know, how it, it you know, why do uh, people with autism tend to avoid eye contact when they're talking with people, specifically the Asperger syndrome type. So you be wondering about, you know, how did I get autism in the first place? Well, we don't know how Though scientists are working out as well as doctors are trying to find out what causes autism. Though, I do have a theory of what causes autism. So, experts also have a theory saying is it is caused by a specific gene, actually, that causes autism. And, um, however, with having autism, like, um, it's pretty hard for many people, like, well, depending on the severity, actually. So, um... But I'm still able to make videos, even though if I have autism, though. So I have an expertise with these videos, but I'm still trying to learn about professional video editing. To learn about how it works, you know, for I can make more views and subscribers for that reason. Also, um, I also have sensory information. I do have body parts that work different. Like, sensory information is how I process things. Like, is um, it is usually with hearing, actually. Speaking of normal voice, it might be heard as shouting or as a whisper. Like, there are many people with ASD that are oversensitive to some information. Like, they might cover their ears when they hear a noise because it sounds so loud to them that it hurts their ears. But for me, I am undersensitive to some. I don't hear sounds as loudly as you guys do. Though, um, I also um tend to have a routine, mostly uh, a morning routine, which. But I know changes are hard for people with autism, but. It's not hard for me. I've dealed with it. I've been dealing with it right now. After when I took applied behavioral analysis, I've been dealing with changes, actually. And I have also had problems with, um, let's see what else. Um, um, mm, though, I don't know how I'm like, you know, um, still, docs, if you guys still don't know what I'm talking about, um, I've already told you what I explained it. Autism is an intellectual disability. And if you finally understood it, that's good. This is also for you to understand, Supertard Chase, if you know how you say that I'm making you lose control, but that's because you didn't know I you don't know I have autism actually. So um 
there's also um like um for some people with autism like um like you be thinking like is there a cure for this condition well this condition is incurable but it's treatable actually this condition cannot be cured because it's a disorder you, there's a saying called disorders can never be cured you know they can never be cured you know disorders but as for you guys helping me we just reached a 27,000 views video with Paw Patrol University of Coming to 27,000 views. Um, so let's see what's happening right now with me. Oh, finally, I gained a sub with 597 subs. Three more, and then we can get to 600. That's pretty much what it's about, guys. Um, though, I do have a very high knowledge on, like, um, with any kind of biology, you know. No, guys. I still need you guys to support the channel so you can get to 1,000 subs just to make that drama life video of how it all went. You know, and with my YouTube life of how it is, guys. So, um, I also have, you know, when you have autism, you also have problems with your posture. Awkward positioning. Oh, usually, autism is usually diagnosed from a health professional. Usually. Though, once a child is diagnosed with ASD, the... The attending physician and psychologist, um, you know, check what severity is so they can see how their emotional intelligence, social capabilities, and verbal and nonverbal communication. You see, um, people with severe autism tend to have nonverbal communication, um, level two, also nonverbal, but a little bit of verbal communication. But for people with Asperger's syndrome, it's, um, we use verbal communication, actually. Verbal, and that's um, what it is about. I do talk all the time in my videos. I know my friend Gamer Dude once he said never talked in his videos because he's worried about you know how you would make fun of his voice. But don't do that to my friend because you know, because then he'll never want to make videos. Also, though, so um, for any of you viewers that are having autism, um. I hope you find this video useful so you can sh upload a video about you know to explain to your viewers what autism is. Yep, so, um, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, um, I did re update my channel intro, which for season six of my channel, I added Christopher Barger and Mighty Pups Fanboy. If you don't know who these guys are, um, they're I watch their videos all the time, mostly Mighty Pups Fanboys, um, but also Christopher Barger's, but however. Christopher Barger's videos are a part of Copa, so, he, but Mighty Pups fanboys are not. But however, I really love his videos; they're really funny. Um, I also love him for the Peppa Pig unrated episodes. Um, so um, when I first met Sonic Rob on Fortnite, guys, um, he told me about the you know he also has autism as well. Like um, he didn't know how the functions work, the forms. I ended up telling him about the you know um. Uh, I have the level one, which is Asperger's syndrome. Basically, I can talk, something like that. After when I explained it all to him, he finally understood what the that I have that he has the same form that I have. So, yep. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.